How's it going guys? So it is Monday and as promised, I'm working on another video for you guys. Um, I'm getting my orders all gathered up. Um, and my plan is to show you each item that I sold over the weekend. I sold like 45 or so things. Uh, pretty good weekend. Um, and I'll tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and how much I sold for it. That way, if you want to know like what my profits are or what you should be looking for in items, how much you should sell them for, then this might help give you a better idea. Here's, uh, I gathered everything up already. Here's everything I sold. Sorry if you can hear the furnace in the background. It's kind of cold, so I got that on. So I'm gonna set this up on my desk. And First, I sold three of these Georgia Bulldogs night lights. Um, I paid 25 cents a piece for these. Got a case of them at my local auction online place. That's where I get a lot of my stuff right now. Um, lots of big cities have these, like these online auctions that you can go to, or not go to, but do online. But yeah, I got these for like 25 cents a piece, sold them for like $8.50 each. So I'll make like $4.50 profit. Normally my rule is I wanna make like at least $7.50 profit on the items to make it worth buying. But when you can buy a whole case of something at like 25 cents an item, it's worth it to make four or five bucks in my opinion. I sold this David Baldacci The Hit DVD. I honestly had no idea what this was, but anything sealed I go for. And I got it for five cents at the auction and sold it for $13.99. So can't beat that. And then uh, I've gone through almost a whole case of these Miami Dolphins sippy cups. I bought them from the auction site over the summer at I think like 50 cents a cup. And I'm selling them for like nine, 10 bucks each, depending on where I sell them on Facebook, eBay, Mercari, all this stuff I'm selling all over. If I have a whole case of it, it's worth listing everywhere. I have a whole bunch of these flags. Um, they're like three by five foot flags. Um, a lot of these I just get in pallets. Um, so can't really price those out what I paid for them, but most of the pallets I buy, I'll make my money back in two weeks at least. Um, so everything after that is just profit. I'm just trying to move it. Most of these flags I'll sell for 10 to 20 bucks each. All right, next I sold this uh, Frozen 2 cake topper. Um, it's actually uh, 10 bucks. I got this in a pallet that I've already made my money back on. So anything, anything extra here is big. And I'll go show you how many of these freaking cake decorating things that I have over here. I got that and I got a whole nother box of them. I'm selling like one or two a day. Um, they expire like next year around this time. So hopefully I'm able to move them all by then. Um, if not, again, like I said, I've already made my money back on it. So really anything on top is just extra um, profit. Um, that's why I have them at $9.99. Most people are selling them at like $14.99. So I'm just trying to blow them out, get rid of them. Uh, next, I got this Ohio State Nike beanie. Um, paid $7 for it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one or the other. And um, I sold it for $22 after shipping, I think. So probably about $10 profit-ish after shipping and fees, maybe $9. Uh, next, I sold two of these Ohio State camo visors, Nike. I paid $7.99 for them at Burlington and sold them for $19.99 plus $5 shipping. I'm almost out of these. This was a really good find at one of the Burlingtons had like six of them. So I bought them all. I already sold all but like two. Um, next, I sold like 12 of these Dallas Cowboys star patches, which has been an incredible uh, palette find. I literally got like several bags of these left and I'm selling them at three at a time for ten dollars each so this was forty dollars right here and again that's just all extra being from a pallet so can't beat that I sold a Nebraska Cornhuskers cloud pillow I got these last week in my auction pickup um, they're really soft I paid what did I pay for 
I paid 55 cents a pillow. I got four cases of them. So I got four cases of four. So I got 16 pillows. I've already moved one. Sold it for $22.99. So doing the math, I'm already in the profit by selling one pillow. And I have 15 more pillows over there. I literally, uh, after my last video, I said I was going to TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they were having some fall blowout sales. I picked this guy up. Kansas City Chiefs... Um, hoodie but it's just a norm it's a t-shirt t-shirt hoodie um i paid 11 dollars for it and i sold it for 29.99 plus five dollars shipping i also got four baltimore ravens ones of those and another chiefs so that's pretty good i'll sell one more of those and i'll be in the profit on that find old just the sea world uh dolphin shirt uh, SeaWorld, one of the SeaWorlds went out of business, I think, during the pandemic, and one of my auction sites liquidated all their stuff, so I picked up a bunch of SeaWorld stuff, like, stupid cheap. I mean, I was getting them for, like, 10, 20 cents a shirt. I'd have to buy a whole box of them, but, uh, it's just gonna be nice inventory to have, and I just sell them for 10, 12 bucks a piece at a time. As you can see, most of the stuff I have is light. I like to go first class shipping. Uh, anything under a pound is going to run you 3 to 5 40 to ship. Um, so that's usually where I like to be. If I'm if I'm getting heavier stuff, I need to I need to make more money than I do on these smaller things where I'm making 5 to 12 dollars every single item. So that is my uh, strategy. So next, I got this uh, Boston Red Sox mascot. Um, I think the green monster. I got this at my auction site again. Um, I got a case of 12 of them for a dollar stuffed animal, and I sold them for $12.99. So nothing huge, but just nice, easy money. Next, I got these little Oyo guys I got in a pallet. Um, that one was a pallet from B-Stock, so it actually tells you how much you paid for the pallet. It was like a pallet of a bunch of sporting goods stuff, which is obviously the main thing I sell. Um, it was 32 cents an item. Uh, so I've already made way of my money back on that one. So these I sold for um, $10 each, I think. So, And they're really they're four ounces, so it's going to cost $2.99 to ship. Uh, got these board shorts. Got these from the auction site. Got three cases of them at a dollar a pair. Selling them for $14.99 all day long. It's slowed a little bit as it's getting cold. A lot of places around the country. Um, but I don't have many of them left. I have like a case of them left. And I had three cases of them that I got probably a month and a half ago. So that's really quick movement on that many of one item. I got these just sweatpants. They don't say anything on them. Paid a dollar for them. Sold them for $12.99. Nothing big. They're like 12 ounces, so they're going to cost probably like four fifty to ship, which sucks because if they were under 8 ounces, it would be better. But I'm still going to make 5 6 bucks on them, and I got a case of them, so it's worth it to make 5 6 bucks. Um, next, I got these Bush Gardens, which is uh, owned by SeaWorld. Um, I don't know if they went out, but they had a bunch of Bush Gardens stuff this week. So let me know if you know if Bush Gardens went out, but I don't know. Um, the retail on them says twenty four ninety five. I'm selling them for nineteen ninety nine. I got them for a buck thirty. I got a whole case of them, uh, either twenty four or forty eight of them. But I've moved quite a bit of these. I've definitely moved enough to be in the profit on that purchase. But lastly, uh, I sell a lot of hats. Sold this hat. Um, women's Pittsburgh Steelers. Honestly, I th have not seen this hat in years, so I think I, this is one of my oldest uh, things in my inventory sitting around. Um, so I couldn't tell you a price on that, but I sold it for $15. Yes, $15. Um, and then this Rip City New Era hat. Sold that bad boy for $18.99. I paid $2.50 for it at a local store. And this um, Indians New Era hat, I paid $4 for that at TJ Maxx. And I'm selling them all day at $20. Um, I have a whole table of those. All different kinds. Um, when they were clearing out their summer sale, they were marking them down. Most of those that you saw, I got for like a dollar. Um... 
So I got some of them as they were marking them down at like three, four bucks. But most of them I got at least half of those that you saw. I got at a dollar. So that was a really good uh, purchase. So, I mean, it's just lasting inventory. Hopefully we'll be gone mostly by next baseball season. Um, that's my plan. Uh, next, this San Francisco 49ers New Era hat. This one came without the tags, but it was brand new. Medium large from... Um, Marshalls and normally I don't go for the ones without the tags, but this one was marked at $5.99 and I sold it for $19.99 plus $5 shipping So nice easy money uh, Then this guy Tennessee Titans um, The on-field hat from last year This was $9.99 at Marshalls and I sold it for $24.99 um, Next was this Ghost Spurs Go hat. That's from that local store again um, It was Either two fifty or five dollars. Sold it for twenty bucks. Um, just picked this up the other day again. One I picked up after my last video. It's a Pittsburgh Steelers throwback hat with the old logo. Um, it says established nineteen thirty three on it. Forty seven brand. Paid nine ninety nine for it. Sold it for twenty seven ninety nine. So that was a good one. Then we have this Muskie's hat, which is Muskingum University in uh, Muskingum County, Ohio. I got this for like four bucks at a uh, Marshalls, and I think I oh I sold it for seventeen ninety nine. Um, so a lot of these small school hats, even if I don't know what the school is, which I I did somehow know what this one was, but even if I didn't know what it was, I usually pick it up because. People can't find like a nice Under Armour hat for their small school or whatever. So it might take a little bit to sell, but you will find a buyer eventually. Um, and then lastly, I sold a buttload of coloring books this weekend randomly. I got those in a pallet and I've already sold like, let's see, how many did I sell? I sold 22 more coloring books. I'm selling them in lots of five and lots of six. Um, I'll come show you. Sell them in lots of five and lots of six. I had about four boxes to start. Now I have this box and this box under it. I know it's kind of dark, but I am almost out of these. And this was in a pallet with all the baking supplies and stuff. So it came with like these baking sheets. I had a whole thing of pans full here that I've already moved. Um, so that pallet was really nice. It was like an as seen on TV palette, I believe. Um, but it also came with stuff from like a drugstore or whatever. It was like a, a small CVS or Walgreens type of place. Um, so it had all that like brand new shelf pull stuff, which is really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna gather up these coloring books and then I'm gonna start packaging everything up. I'll do a time lapse of that. And then I'm gonna head to the post office. <laughs> all right so i'm done packaging up took me about an hour and a half now i'm gonna get something to eat and head to the post office I just took everything to the post office and got back so that'll wrap up this video um, I have some auction stuff ending tomorrow and Wednesday, so when I go pick that up, I'm going to make another video, so stay tuned for that. Um, you'll get to see everything I got at the online auction this week. So thanks for tuning in. This has been The Millennial Prophet.